Thank you. Um, I come from a state in some ways very similar to yours, the state of Kansas. You get to see firsthand uh, the impact of trade, of exports that they have on people, on jobs, on economic opportunity, on my communities. Uh, our state's economy relies on our ability to sell the products we grow and manufacture to people around the globe. Strengthening our trade relationships and expanding market access for exports abroad creates a greater opportunity for Kansans today and those who follow us. One of my goals has always been to make certain that communities across Kansas remain a place in which uh, the young men and women who grew up there uh, find it to be a, a place to raise their family. And our ability to do that, especially in a small rural community, uh, with agriculture and, and agricultural exports is so important. It's a, it's a way that we can really put America first. Um, if our goal is an America that has strength and prosperity, we ought to continue to focus on improving our nation's economy. It's one of the things that I appreciate we seem to be focused in such a significant way on our ability to grow an economy. And I think we're poised for much greater things economically. And by that, I mean, economics may sound like just one of those words, but what that means is more jobs, better jobs, more secure jobs, jobs for our children that maybe they can pay back their student loans. Uh, this country desperately needs the jobs in communities across Kansas and around the country, and it's really what we call the American dream. Trade, including our ability to sell the food and fiber that we grow in our state, is a key part of that drives our economy forward. Almost half of the wheat grown in Kansas is exported to foreign markets. What that means is if you, if you weren't doing that, nearly half of the acres planted in our state would be idle. That means the communities that those farmers and ranchers live in and around uh, would have a half of the amount of economic activity that currently is occurring. American ranchers ship over a million metric tons of beef to consumers abroad and thousands of acres of corn, sorghum, and soybeans being planted this spring across Kansas, and the nation will ultimately be exported. Approximately 95 percent of the world's consumers live outside America's borders. To reach those consumers, our nation must produce a trade policy that grows existing export markets while continuously building and developing new ones. Without export markets, both production and prices would fall for farmers and ranchers, and rural communities supported by agriculture would disappear. The revenue generated by exports not only keeps family farmers and ranchers afloat, it drives rural economies and supports small businesses. The aerospace industry, which is so important in Kansas, also relies on an integrated supply chain and strong trade policy. Wichita, Kansas, appropriately labeled the air capital of the world, manufactures more than half of the world's general aviation light aircraft and business jets. Without trade, aerospace manufacturing facilities in Wichita and surrounding areas in Kansas City and surrounding areas would not exist, and workers in those factories would be left uh, without job opportunities. America should strengthen our commitment to holding other countries accountable in order to inspire greater confidence from the American public in our nation's ability to reach a trade agreement that benefits us all. Weakening our trade relations will cause Kansans to lose jobs. Farmers and ranchers will no longer be able to pursue their careers and lifestyle. But with strong leadership and smart negotiating, I'm convinced America can improve our trade relationships in a world and continue to build on the economic successes that we have today. A robust U.S. economy that provides market opportunities for farmers, ranchers, and, and manufacturers and job prospects for workers is a central pillar of America's strength and well-being. Strong trade relationships, particularly with Canada and Mexico, are primary drivers of our nation's economy. We must protect those relationships and be, be careful as we consider changes in our approach to trade to be certain that Americans continue to benefit from the economic opportunities that have created by a strong trade policy. But Madam President, our relationships with Mexico and Canada are important and in many ways determine the economic future of the people of my state at home. Madam President, uh, I uh, yield the floor and notice, before I do that, I notice the absence of a quorum.